Unlocking your destiny and the destiny of a nation through surrender, faith, and patience. One of the central and most important issues for a Christian is faith. After all, our Christian walk begins and ends with faith. It takes faith to get saved. We could say that faith is the catalyst that gets us onto the path to heaven, and it also is the energy that enables us to keep moving forward. Examples of faith from the book Awakening the Sleeping Giant, The Church and the Road to Revival. Let me quote, Faith, nothing goes without it. Need a faith lift? I guess most of us do at times. Sooner or later we will all be enrolled in God's faith fitness program. We could say that faith is like a muscle. The more it is exercised and the more intensely, the stronger it gets. According to God's word, there is nothing of great value in our Christian walk that could be done without faith at the core. It begins with our salvation. Ephesians 2.8 For by grace are you saved through faith. Since we didn't actually see with our own eyes how Jesus died and rose again, we can only accept by faith and through the revelation of the Holy Spirit that his word is true. Faith is the only possible path that leads to God, for we will never be able to fully perceive and understand his ways. Isaiah 55, verse 8 and 9. When it comes to our relationship with the Lord, we are told that we cannot find his approval without faith. But without faith it is impossible to please him. Hebrews 11, 6. In fact, faith should be our daily bread, the standard for Christian living. Now the just shall live by faith. Hebrews 10, 38. It is our faith the uncompromising, unwavering trust in God and His Word that creates the desired quality of a father-child relationship. Matthew 18.3 reads the following, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. The Bible gives us many examples of incredible tasks that could only be accomplished through the power of faith. It was faith that enabled Noah to find the strength and perseverance to build the ark, Hebrews 11.7. The chemical which hardened the water beneath Peter's feet and allowed him to walk on it was faith, Matthew 14.22. End quote. And where does our faith come from? Can we drum it up? Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, Hebrews 12.2. Faith will always have a foundation on which it operates. We cannot drum up faith. So then faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God, Romans 10:17. God said that his word will not return void, meaning empty or unaccomplished, Isaiah 55:11. The Lord told Noah, hearing his word, that it would rain and he should build an ark. Peter heard Jesus' word, telling him to come out of the boat. Come on, Peter, get out of the boat. You can walk on water too. Matthew 14, 22. Do you remember how you got saved? Did someone tell you about Jesus, hearing the word? When you read his word or hear his word, it is as though Jesus is knocking on the door of your heart asking you to let him in and give you real, spiritual life. Revelation 3.20 Walking towards your destiny, patience and the testing of our faith. Moses worked as a shepherd while being reshaped by God from living in a palace as a king's daughter's adopted son. It took 40 years until he was finally ready to go back to Egypt and lead God's people out of slavery. Abraham was 100 years old before God's promise of a child was finally fulfilled. Jacob's son, Joseph, received incredible prophetic dreams about his future. It took many years of working as a slave and even being imprisoned for a crime he did not commit before these dreams finally became reality. Why does it sometimes take so long before we see the fruit of our labor or before we enter our true calling. 
In the case of Joseph, we read that he was quite proud, telling his brothers about his lofty dreams, even suggesting that his parents and older siblings should bow down to him. After God had finished putting Joseph through a tough training program and preparing him for a major role, Joseph saw all his dreams fulfilled. For us to be able to properly handle and appreciate our calling and destiny, God's purpose for us, we usually must be enrolled in God's refining program. Faith is the energy that keeps us going no matter what. Faith is also the tool by which we remove and overcome any obstacles trying to prevent us from reaching our destiny and the destiny of our nation. When Shepherd David fought Goliath, the primary weapon he used was faith. The secondary weapon he used were a sling and a stone. It was David's God-authored faith that turned the stone into a bullet. Faith plus patience is key. 1 Corinthians 13.4 Love is patient. There's a reason why God put patience first on the list of what love is. Waiting patiently on the Lord with quiet contentment is one of the hardest things to do for someone who is eager to pursue his goals. For our faith to rise to a level where believing turns into knowing and where faith is uncompromised and pure, where we can do great exploits for God, we have to undergo some time of testing and being reshaped into the person he wants us to become. Moses, from prince to shepherd to deliverer. James 1, verse 3 and 4. The testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. God works through people individually and through his church corporately in accomplishing his goals here on earth. We can see the power of the Holy Spirit at work through his church when looking at the scripture in 2 Thessalonians. As long as the Restrainer, the Holy Spirit, who is in a believer, is here, the Antichrist, Satan's man, will not be able to come on the scene. For the secret power of lawlessness is already at work, but the One, Holy Spirit, who now holds it back, will continue to do so till he is taken out of the way. 2 Thessalonians 2.7 the Holy Spirit, who lives in a true follower of Jesus Christ, is taken out of the way when believers are suddenly snatched away in the rapture to meet the Lord in the air. 1 Thessalonians 4.17 Being used by God, how to find your destiny. Faith is what turns a God-given desire or even an impossible dream into a realistic goal. The energy that kept Joseph going in pursuing his God-given dreams was faith, the trusting that, since God cannot lie, Numbers 23, 19, the Lord will be faithful and open doors and windows at the right time. Again, the supernatural energy, faith fuel, to keep going on the road to our destiny comes from the author of such a faith, the Lord himself. Therefore, nothing without the Helper, the Holy Spirit. Jesus said that without Him, His Holy Spirit, we can do nothing. John 15, 5. However, in order for God to use us, we must first become a new wineskin, forgetting the old ways. Mark 2, 22. No one pours new wine, Holy Spirit, into old wineskins, otherwise the wine will burst the skins, and both the wine and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins. As long as we are full of ourselves, will there not be much room to be filled with Him, His Holy Spirit? The more we decrease, the easier it becomes to hear His voice, receiving revelation and direction. And when our dreams and desires are inspired by Him, when we get in on His plan for us and our nation, we can be sure that He will guide and empower us to accomplish His will. Read Matthew 7, verse 7. Open yourself up to God and ask Him to make you new and fill you with His new wine. 
Then you will find your true calling and destiny. And then God can use you to implement his purposes here on earth, which will not only change your life, but also the lives of those around you. His kingdom will come and his will is done through us, his church. When his church is changed and empowered as true representatives of Jesus Christ, the whole nation will be changed. Second Chronicles 7.14 Draw and stay close to Jesus Christ, taught, refined, and then empowered by his Holy Spirit. The harvest is plentiful, and it is riper than ever. Soon the floodgates of heaven will open, and his glory will fill the earth. Here is a prayer. Lord, you are the author and finisher of my faith. Please grant me the needed faith energy to keep going on the road of your will for my life, my destiny. I know that faith without works is dead. I must do my part in actively pursuing you and the purpose you have for my life. Help me to be patient and show me the doors I must enter while granting me wisdom and revelation to know where not to go. Please make me a new wineskin full of your Holy Spirit. Amen.